Decision 2018. Two men are vying to represent the 24th district in the U.S. House of Representatives. We sat down with each candidate to talk about the issues they want to tackle. Tonight, KSBY anchor Christina Fuvuzi talks with challenger Justin Fareed, who says the Central Coast needs a new representative. November 6 marks Justin Fareed's third attempt to win the 24th district. I think a lot of people are discouraged and disappointed that my opponent had talked about uh, working in a bipartisan way when he's voted with his party leadership almost 100 percent of the time. The South Coast businessman says he's frustrated with Democrats and Republicans for not coming up with bipartisan immigration reform. He wants a fair, compassionate, merit-based system. We need to encourage uh, people to go through legal ports of entry um, and absent any criminal conduct. Do not separate those people from their families. Fareed supports a guest worker program to help alleviate the labor shortage in the agricultural sector. He sees the closure of Diablo Canyon as an opportunity to create jobs and a water source by retrofitting the facility into a desalination plant. Not only would you be creating jobs here locally, we have some of the best uh, electricians and pipe fitters uh, in the region. We need to continue to do more to bring in uh, the next generation of uh, skilled workforce. Fareed says he doesn't want to see any more Central Coast natives forced to move out of state due to the high cost of living, including soaring health care costs. So I think it's important more than anything that we work in a bipartisan way in the United States government uh, and, and Congress uh, to resolve these issues by, by reducing, one, the cost of health care and then making sure that health insurance is more accessible and affordable. He also says the Fed should partner more with local law enforcement agencies to combat opioid addiction and human trafficking. We need to do everything we can from the federal perspective to make sure that our local law enforcement and our federal agencies in partnership and collaboration with one another can work to keep our streets as safe as possible. Fareed says incumbent Salu Carvajal hasn't done enough to keep local families safe. He's regularly put uh, party politics ahead of the people in our community and when it comes to public safety, whether it's supporting our law enforcement, making sure that there are practical policies in place to keep our community safe. Christina Favuzzi, KSBY News. And you can watch Christina's one-on-one -on -one interview with Congressman Salud Carvajal on KSBY.com.